everybody, welcome back to DraftingTutorials.com. My name is Casey Kepley, and in today's video, I just wanted to cover the uh, layers property again with you. Um, right now, I'm doing a project for architectural um, design, and we're doing a floor plan. We're basically building the house from the ground up, and we're using multiple layers here. But I wanted to talk about the uh, layers for architecture because there's a specific naming convention that you want to use uh, when you're you're creating your layers for um, an architectural drawing. Okay, and normally what you're going to do is you're going to put an A in front of your layer and and then label it like doors, windows. Um, I've got one right here that I'm labeling right now and it's toilet tubs and sinks so I'm gonna change the color property on that to green there's a uh, list of naming conventions that I'll go ahead and shoot a video on later and it breaks down the uh, naming convention for architecture drawings mechanical drawings electrical drawings um, so basically when you design a house uh, either in residential or commercial all your layers are going to be on the drawing and you can break them down uh, by specific naming conventions either through architectural electrical uh, so you can kind of get a better idea of what resonates on each layer uh, that's all i have for today's video you're tuning in to draftingtutorials.com subscribe to the channel if you haven't because i'm i'm shooting videos on revit uh, Inventor and AutoCAD and I'm basically reverse engineering each application um, as I go through my drafting program so if you haven't subscribed to the channel please do so because I'm I'm definitely shooting some videos here that are going to be helpful for you uh, either in the workplace or if you own your own company uh, till next time I will talk to you guys later thank you